it's my pleasure to now introduce to you Probably. Senator Tom Udall. Senator Udall began serving as United States Senator in 2009 after two decades of public service as U.S. Representative and New Mexico's Attorney General. Throughout his career, Senator Udall has been an advocate for environmental protections, conservation of our wildlands and wildlife, and combating climate change. He led the fight in Congress to reform the Toxic Substances Control Act to protect Americans from harmful chemicals. He was instrumental in the designation of Rio Grande del Norte and Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks National Monuments. And he has helped conserve open spaces through funding for the Land and Water Conservation Fund. Senator Udall also is working to protect New Mexico's air quality, and he has co-sponsored the Scientific Integrity Act to ensure federal agency scientists are able to work without political interference. Senator Udall, welcome to the March for Science. Thank you so much. Are you all fired up and ready to go? First of all, Dan, thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Larimore, I should call him, Dr. Larimore. We're honoring, honoring scientists today. Dr. Larimore is a postdoc at the Santa Fe Institute, and I want to give a shout out to the Santa Fe Institute and its scientists who've done so much good work. I have my staff look up, they have 936 published papers on climate change. They're doing their part. Over there. And I, I can't tell you how honored I am to be here with Mayor Javier Gonzalez, who you're going to see in a bit. You know, Javier has brought to our attention early childhood education and pre-K. Are you going to support him? Are you going to get out and vote? Or are you going to vote today? Okay, we're counting on you. And, and I'm also honored to be here with Congressman Ben Ray Lujan. Ben, ben Ray is a great congressman in northern New Mexico, represents you well. He's a great partner of mine in Washington. Let's give him a big round of applause. Hey, hey, hey. To, to just say a word about the importance of scientists, I am excited to be here to honor scientists. I respect their intellect, their drive, their devotion to scientific reasoning and empirical data. And at its heart, science is about asking questions and seeking answers so we can understand the world around us. Let's give those scientists a round of applause. Have them, let's have them all that are here with us raise their hands and pat them on the back. Why do, why do we need scientific integrity? You know, first of all, science is not Republican or Democrat. It's not red or blue. It's focusing in on the issues that are important to our lives. And we support those scientists, don't we? Too, too many scientists today feel like they're under attack. And we're seeing that from this current administration. And that's why, as Dan has said, I introduced the Scientific Integrity Act. We're going to protect every one of those scientists in the federal government that's speaking out, putting their life on the line. Let's support our federal government scientists and our national lab scientists across the United States. Uh, just to, and, and you've got great speakers here today, and I'm introducing a couple of young environmentalists, but just a, a final word here today on climate change and global warming. I believe climate change is the moral, political, and scientific challenge of our time. We must face it head on. Are you with me? Did you do that? 
the president's, president's executive, executive order, order takes, takes us, us backwards. backwards. We've, We've got, got to, to oppose it. it. You got to stand with me on that. that. The other, the other important issue that impacts climate change here, we have a Bureau of Land Management methane rule to prevent waste of natural gas. Will you support me on that and push us to Congress to make sure we don't repeat it? And sometimes when we get in these situations, it, you can feel like you don't have uh, everything on your side, you can feel negative about things. I'm optimistic, and let me tell you why. Science is on our side on these issues. The American people support fighting, fighting climate change by big, big margins, no doubt about it. And environmental groups and scientists will fight the president in the courts, and they're going to win. Finally, the market is on our side. Consumers want clean energy. We're going to give them clean energy. We're going to move towards clean energy as rapidly as we can. Right? Okay. Now, your activism out here has been incredible. Your, your rally and the last, the Women's March, the following marches after that, this march, Let's hear a big cheer for everybody who's here and who's participating.